Hi, I'm Allison from MOOCsmart and Boomerang Pilates, and today we're going to explore the difference between a kind of a somatic, free-flowing motion and a more boundaried, active, twisting motion. So start with just, just swing. Let your arms go. Let your feet move. If I just say twist from side to side, what does your body create? What does your body provide and how does it feel? For some people this feels amazing, for some people it does not feel amazing, it feels too um, almost floppy and disconnected. So if it feels floppy and disconnected for you, imagine wrapping like a hug of, of wrapping around each of your joints, might make your movement a bit smaller, but see if it makes it easier or smoother or feel safer or more welcoming to move in this easy, swingy fashion. For some people it feels fantastic and there's absolutely no need to change anything. It's just a really lovely, nutritious, sustainable, soul cell feeding motion. And then bring your legs together. They don't need to be like super together. They can be hip distance apart. And feel for the weight of your pelvis over your heels and really connect across the line of your hip bones towards center. So your abdominal, your lower abdominal muscles are active and drawing in and your pelvis isn't going to shift or move. Fold your hands over your chest. And this time as you twist from side to side, you wanna keep your legs like pillars. You wanna keep that same idea of wrapping around the outsides of your hips, wrapping your hip bones into center so that your movement is only happening in the twist and there is no other, there's no other component to the motion. And you can go side to side and notice where's your movement coming from? Is it coming from your lower back? Is it coming from the base of your ribs twisting? Is it coming from your abdominal muscles? Do you feel like it's coming from your chest and shoulders? Are your shoulder blades pulling towards? As you twist to the left, is your left shoulder blade pulling in towards your spine? Can you keep your shoulder blades stable? They don't need to be super wide, but just quiet on your ribs so that the movement becomes more about this drive from center, that your rib cage, the bottom of your rib cage, is staying parallel to the floor. So again, for some people, this feels amazing and there's no need to make any changes. If it doesn't feel amazing, what can you do to make it feel better? Can you notice, does it feel incomplete? Does it feel restricted or restrictive? Is it physically uncomfortable? Or is it just mentally uncomfortable? Like it doesn't feel, if you're used to doing bigger movements, does it just feel like there's not enough to it? In which case, can you Bring your brain in to really appreciate the subtlety and the beauty of those individual movements of your various joints. Can you imagine those joints getting a little massage of olive oil into them? If you tend to be really kind of tight and stiff in your movements, it might be helpful to use an image that just allows these little motions to feel more, more juicy and pliable. And it might be that this just doesn't feel exciting enough for you. And that's okay, you can really like to do the big motions, but this has value as well. So maybe you can find a way to add some pleasure to it by thinking doing this little motion might make this bigger motion work differently or more effectively for you. And vice versa, if this is your favorite, getting a little big spontaneous movement with some momentum and some flow is gonna make this more boundary motion work better for you as well. So play around with it, let me know what you think, comments down below, questions, complaints, always want to hear them, and always take, take charge of your emotion, take ownership of how you feel about it. If one thing doesn't feel right, play around with it, see what you can do to make it feel better and to serve you better, because more motion is always better than not as much motion. See you next time.